you visualize it, and just kind of make it happen. But really though, this one's just kind of a quickie today. I just kind of want to show how easy it really is to just kind of make something from nothing almost. You just make, make something happen. Um, and today it's about, it's the first week of October here in Southern Indiana. And we've got a lot of big sycamore trees that are, they, they drop massive leaves, right? And it's time to vacuum a bunch of them up. And I know these leaf vacs come up on Facebook Marketplace for pretty cheap all the time. But that's just another big you know, trailer-sized thing that only does the leaves. So instead, well, why don't we make something a little more modular? Make a convertible kind of a thing here uh, that lets us easily plug in this leaf blower uh, unit here. And blow them into this utility trailer that I already have. So pretty much make a bunch of stuff from stuff that I got for free. I mean, I got this gator for free and, you know, I used some parts, I bought that winch, but, you know, got that leaf vacuum for free. I had to buy the hose and whatnot and a new carburetor for it and all that. But make, make something from cheap and not have something that takes up a bunch of space, have something a little more modular. That's what I'm doing today. So first step is visualize. And I had to play around with this and flop it around a couple ways to decide which way I'm going to put it. And I think it's going to come out this way, except I think I'm going to relocate the oil drain. It's just pipe, all pipe fittings and pipe threads. So I can just kind of make whatever I need for an oil drain. I'm thinking about, man, it would be rattly. I was thinking about a bolt-on thing. I think I'm going to go with a bolt-on. I was thinking about a hitch for a minute, but... Just this little one-cylinder engine running and bouncing up and down the whole time. It's just going to rattle a hitch to death. So, let's bolt it on. Um, trying to decide between mounting it up high here and down low here. And I think what's going to be my deciding factor is a little bit unfortunate. Is this recoil starter faces about straight up. And the only way to adjust that is to drill out these little resistance welds I think is what they are they might be bent in tabs but still that's just not really that easy to re-index so I think I'm gonna mount it low first I've got to make up my engine mount and I really need to measure for that so what I've done here is I'm kind of sighting down this line of this truck working on bench and I'm gonna I'm gonna say that because of this blower housing I really can't put anything further that way and I've got some obstacles to deal with here but I can there's a lot of stuff I could cut and grind off of here and probably should anyway a lot of sharp edges stuff like you know that and I can just whiz wheel that off when it likely gets in the way of this measurement style but we'll add just a little bit of margin <clears throat> and I'll probably add some by estimating as well and all I'm doing here is measuring through to the outer end of the motor mounting flange. See my tape come through there? And there's the flange. We're at about 11 and a quarter. So I mean, screw it, let's say 12 inches. Just, you know, it makes everything, makes life a little bit easier when you just kind of round to the nearest, especially when it's on a foot like that. Let's just let's make it 12 inches. And then roll this thing out and measure for the hole spacing. It's going to be six and a half, three and a half. And a quarter, six and a half by three and a quarter hold spacing. Okay, we're still gassing it. Okay, let's lay out what our key dimensions are. I'm not going to lay this out to scale, I'm just going to draw me 
a rectangle, straight edges here. Rectangle. All right, we know the overall length. There to there, 12. We know we need this bolt pattern to be six and a half by three and a quarter and effectively that's all we really care about i mean everything else is what we make what exactly what we make this out of i mean I'll, we'll go dig through the material pile but it really end of the day these are the these are the critical dimensions so we'll make some guesstimations and say that these holes are, let's put those half inch in, uh, probably both ways, two times. It's really, it's all we need to care about. All right, choosing from things in the material pile here. I'm really eyeballing this square tube, but that's, that's a good bit heavier than we really need for this project. Also, I bought on this square tube. That almost looks a little lighter than, well, that's kind of thicker wall than I thought. Yeah. Let's do that. I think there's enough of that there to make the entire frame plus some braces. So let's, let's use that. All right, pay attention. This is real easy. If I want this bracket to come out to be three and a quarter inches wide, or well, three and a quarter inches on center, on the center of these, because well, that's where the uh, bolt holes are gonna go. All I need to do is cut these pieces this way to be three and a quarter minus the width of this thing. Because I'm really subtracting two halves, you know, one on each side to get to the middle. So this is three quarter inch square tube so I need six and a quarter minus three quarter inches. That's five and a half, right? Six three quarter minus, no, three and a quarter minus three quarter. Yeah, three and a quarter minus three quarter is two and a half. I say five and a half. Okay, so pay attention. All you need to do here is real simple. I want these to come out, bolt holes in the center of these, the center of these tubes. I want this bracket to be three and a quarter inches wide on the center of those holes. So I'm gonna cut the two support pieces that I'm gonna weld between them. I'm gonna cut those to be three and a quarter minus the half of this twice, which is you know, one. And this is three quarter inch square tube. So I'm gonna do three and a quarter minus three quarter, which is gonna be two and a half. And that's all there is to it. Just come right there and mark two and a half. Okay, I've cleaned up these surfaces, which is kind of weird for me. And I've also done some clamping, which is also kind of weird for me. But I've only put one clamp on it, so don't get, don't get too excited. But I want to see how this does. I just, well, hopefully it's going to be enough. I'm also hopeful that I'm not going to run out of argon because low I didn't realize it was that oh wow it barely comes off the peg when I open the mouth okay well let's hope for the best we'll get the important parts done before you know, I either decide to give it up for the weekend or switch to flux core Ugh. I can also I haven't decided if this is that great of an idea yet or not but Got my ground set up for the welder. Got my clamp. Got my plug. So I can just plug the welder into the bench. It seems to work pretty well so far. One of my buddies mentioned maybe I'd have to worry about arcing out and you know arc felding it, but 
No, it hasn't happened yet. All right, back to the welding. All right, I'm at about voltage setting four out of five. Or not, well, it's not about. It's just clickety click. So I'm at voltage setting four out of five, and you know, roughly 40% wire speed. That's probably where I'll start, and then I'll probably actually turn it down. Okay, something like that ought to work. I mean, all that's holding that there right now is that clamp, by the way. Just, you know, don't worry about that. Yep, I'm just going to mark those holes and then, actually, let me just go ahead and get this out of the way. Yep, just mark those four holes, put some bolts in them, and we'll be good to go. That's about as on there as that's gonna get, so uh, I don't know, time to put the cage on there. I think it's ready to go, right? Yeah. Little tripod leg holding it up, some plumbing fittings. A hundred dollars worth of, these were fifty dollars a piece, these seven foot, yeah. All right, let's go see if we can tear one up. See how this diesel Big Ten cold starts unaided. It's, little, it's not really that cold. It's like what, 50? What is it? In uh, 57. 57. It's up yeah, and it's not going to go well. coming out. I'd say we're working pretty good now. Yeah. This is a new one for me. Selfie mode. I've never done this. Anyway, I'm out here actually grabbing the can of ether off of here because I need that for my other project putting the transmission back in the Jetta, but we've put about three loads through this so far. It's running great, so I don't know, would recommend to, well, really, I'd recommend to get out there and do stuff like this, right? There's, I've got a mountain of this kind of stuff. It's just, it's fun. Get out here and do it.